Hello everybody, Dead Man's Macaroni here. Get your macaroni ready because this is, I don't exactly remember which part this is of Let's Play Ocarina of Time. Um, I haven't done one of these in a, quite a long while because, well because we've had a person living with us and I just haven't been alone and I haven't had much alone time lately so I haven't really had too many chances to record and when I do get a chance it's usually late at night when I'm just tired from working and I just don't want to don't want to do it. But anyway, um, I don't think we've done the ice cavern yet. I want to say that's our next step. Yeah, because we got we were working on the bigger on getting the bigger on sword in the last episode, I believe, and um, and yeah, we gotta go do ice cavern. But first, let's grab this piece of heart. And there's like about two or three pieces of heart that we can get just in this one little section of the game, like, around Ice Cavern, and then after Ice Cavern, there's one that we can grab in this area, too. Which is kind of nice that they just pretty much give you a full extra heart container just from doing Ice Cavern. Or at least, at least three heart pieces, so... As long as you come here with at least one, which I don't know if we have one or not. Or two, I guess, since we just picked that up. Yeah, that is our second one, so. We grab the heart piece in here, and then the heart piece when we leave, that should be another container for us. Which I usually have more by now, actually. I don't know which heart pieces I haven't gotten yet. See, this is why I shouldn't take such long pauses in between videos because then I don't remember what all I've done. Oh, let's get out our hook shot for this. Um. I mean, I know that there's probably better ways to do this, but... Okay, or that could happen. But if you hook shot to them, then it's just a faster way and sometimes you're able to swing your sword fast enough to kill them before they're able to blow their ice at you. Or we can just suck it up bad. So I believe you have to kill all of the ones in this room. And you got the ones like this bastard over here that materialize themselves. Wherever. That thing is going to hit me, isn't it? Oh, pretty close. So this is one of those cases right here where if you play the Song of Storms, which... Oh, we do have it already. Okay. Can't remember if we picked that up yet or not. But if you play the Song of Storms here, then it'll make a giant fairy appear there, which... I don't think you can actually catch giant fairies in a bottle, can you? I think that's part of it, is that they're... Like, only external use or whatever, you can't bottle them. Yeah. Well, we'll take it anyway. But, yeah, that's a little secret there. My friend showed me that. Figure I won't take all the credit for it. Well, I'm going backwards. Don't tell me they're going to respawn now. Okay, good. That would have been annoying, although I think the door would have been still been open regardless. So we could have just ran past them, likely. But I think if I want to start releasing more videos, I'm just going to have to deal with it and start staying up later to record, because if I don't do that, I can just tell that I am rarely ever going to be putting out videos, like, it's just, it's not a very good situation. I mean, it's not, like, bad, but essentially there's just a person living with us and it just makes it weird because I don't want to come off as like a weirdo or something in my room talking to myself 
and I know I could probably just explain it, but I don't know. I'm just kind of weird about it. I just prefer to record when there's nobody else here. Plus, I have a little brother in the house, too, who's six, and, you know, who will just barge into my room sometimes without even knocking, and, you know, if I'm in the middle of recording when that happens, well, now that video is ruined, and I can't really go back and show that part of the game, because it's probably already going to be saved. I don't know, there's just a lot that can go wrong when I'm not alone. You know what I mean? So it's just safer to wait until I am alone. Problem with that is, I'm rarely ever alone. But today I have a few extra hours to myself because my parents have a meeting. And normally I work with my dad, but he's got a meeting at his company today that I don't have to go to. So, yeah. That explains why there's a video today. When this will be uploaded, I don't know, but hopefully today. I may save it for tomorrow, though, or something. We'll see how it goes. Oh, damn it. I knew I should have used the, the bow on that guy. I'm not sure if moving the analog stick actually helps you break out of the ice or not. I think it does, I want to say, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, let's go ahead and equip a couple of bottles here. Yeah, we're gonna have to waste a fairy just because I don't want to be doing this whole dungeon with one bottle. That would be pretty annoying. Damn it, I keep wanting to press start for some reason to put it to center of the camera. I don't know why. That's literally makes no sense. How I would get that backwards in my head, I don't know. Can I make that jump? Oh. Oh, well, we could, if I could actually do the jump properly. Damn it. Video is going to be such crap. I don't think I'm going to make it all the way through the ice cavern in one video. Not at the rate that we're going, anyway. I'm trying to jump with these controls, man. I mean, I can't blame it all on the controls, but it's at least a little bit to blame on the controls. Okay. Now that the bats are dealt with, I see you down there. This blue fire doesn't seem natural. Maybe you can use it somehow. Or use it for something. Yeah, sure enough I can. Bottle it. So, let's get back out that other bottle that I emptied. I'm kind of tempted to just empty all my bottles, because it's not like we can't just go get more fairies. <laughs> oh, got a sneeze. Oh, man. I could feel that sneeze coming, and I was trying to finish my sentence, but nope, it wouldn't let me do it. But like I was saying, we can always just buy more fairies later, but... Eh. I think it's safer to just hold on to one of them. Especially on the phone here where, you know, I, I could actually end up dying. I just feel safer having a fairy on me. I mean, even when I'm playing on my console version, I always have a fairy on me because it's like, it's just safer. Because you have 15 hearts, it doesn't mean you're not going to lose 15 hearts. And we don't even have 15 hearts. Alright, refill your blue flyer before you leave this room. I recommend doing... Just because, you never know, there's lots of the red ice around here, which, if you noticed, bigger on, or not bigger on, who am I talking about? Uh, King Zora is covered in that ice, which is why we have to come in here to, in order to free him. Because normally you wouldn't do this dungeon until after 
um, the fire temple, but I've actually always done it after the forest temple just because I just like to get the bigger on sword as soon as I can. Actually, I might sequence break, I don't know. Just because I like to do stuff differently if I can. And by sequence break, I mean go to the water temple before the fire temple, which I'm sure you were able to guess that if you know about this game. Uh, we skipped a room, I think. We totally skipped a room. Um, I'm gonna go back. Damn it! Dude! Okay. Definitely not gonna fit the whole ice cavern in one video if I gotta heal back and fix my mistakes. Yeah, this other room blocked off over here. You use your other blue fire to melt it. And don't worry, there will be blue fire in here, I believe. So we won't have to go and go through the, the platforming again to get more. So yeah, there's just this little hidden chamber over here with extra blue fire in it and a few things to pick up. Well, I'm getting low on hearts. We might actually need that fairy. Suddenly, I'm glad I didn't waste it. How did I get so low on hearts? Probably because I keep getting frozen by those stupid bats. At least they're just regular bats in here. Dude, where are you going? Okay, go ahead and open up this chest. Oh wow. I was trying to attack the bat there and I think I accidentally pressed A. So it opened up the chest. Now if you didn't guess already, it's the compass. Those are about the only two chests that you're going to see in this whole dungeon is the, the dungeon map and the compass. You know, I should just get out the bow. This is getting stupid. If you're not going to come down here and fight me, then I'm going to shoot you. If you noticed, this isn't the same um, layout as the last video, and that's because... For some reason, my phone did like a self-cleaning thing, and it it considered like it it sweeped all the junk out of my phone for whatever reason. I didn't do anything to make it happen, and it considered my N64 app junk, and it just deleted it, which was really really irritating. And I was worried that it had had deleted all of my save data too, but I um. I read I downloaded a different one and it was still there, so I know in an episode of in that first episode of Pokemon Go I mentioned that that had happened and that this that let's play might not be continuing, but the save data was still there, so I figure might as well continue it. But um I'm thinking that we should probably go ahead and end this episode here much as I would rather just finish off the ice cavern because um, I just don't know how much space I have on my phone right now for one thing and I don't want the file to be too big and then have it end up not working or you know sometimes if the file is too big then the recording won't show up right or whatever so I'm gonna stop talking so thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys next time when we finish up the ice cavern See you then.